Okay, so in uh, the business world, um, in the labor world, um, in the anything world, um, if you're doing work, I don't care if you're an electrician or you're, you know, a welder or you're a concrete guy, carpenter, um, anything. 99.9% um, .9 of things actually happen in an office. Um, you know, when it comes to getting the job, getting the, you know, you meet with a client, you come back and, and you look at the drawings on your bigger screen and you look at your screen and you, you know, you do the math with your calculators and that's probably why my office is in a disarray because I've been doing so much of that lately. But, uh, the key word here is office. And this is a good example and good education for younger guys getting into trades. Um, it's raining outside today. I've got a paperwork day today. Um, but um, I'm, a, I'm 46 years old. I've broken my leg uh, more than once. Uh, the last time was really bad. The first time I was quite a bit younger. Um, and it was a different leg and it was more the front of the foot than the leg. I broke the ankle. Most people that follow me know that I've done this and uh, no big deal. Okay, so I wanna talk about offices today and this is not an office. This is not an office for a tradesman, it isn't. This is an office for a guy who does invoicing. This is an office for a guy who does quoting. This is an office for me. And you know, I mean, I get out in the field too. But the real office uh, in this world, and don't don't mind my shitty looking office or, or whatever, okay? The, these these things are your offices, okay? This is your office. This is a Red Wing, um, a Red Wing. Uh, this is not a commercial. This is advice for the young kids, uh, the young people that are getting into uh, getting into a trade, okay? <laughs> So this is a 2416 Red Wing boot. It also comes in brown. It's known as the 2412. It's probably the most common boot you'll see, especially if it's in red. This is a this is a great boot. This boot, I believe, is made in the United States of America. It should say that. Yeah, it says right there, made in the USA. Okay, so paramedics wear these boots because they're black. Um, you can choose them because they're black. It's a color thing. It doesn't matter. Um, there's an inner liner in there that Red Wing swears will protect you against the HIV virus. Um, which, I mean, the 2412 is a red boot and probably still has the same liner because they'll hold as much water as they'll retain. They're totally waterproof. They're like a rubber boot. Um, my guys have worn them they can go through them in a year. An electrician will go through a pair of boots like this in three years, maybe four, depending on the electrician and how well he oils and looks after his boots. Oiling your boots is very important. Okay, don't know the model number on these boots. They're more of a winter boot. Um, bought them last year, had a bit of trouble with them because I got so much steel in my leg. Um, couldn't break them in and then it got real cold so I just switched to my other boots. These will be a boot that I will wear in the future. Like that's a king toe family. That's a king toe family. Um Red Wing introduced the king toe a few years ago. It's uh it's a great 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 boot. Uh I've been nothing but happy about it. The king toe, but we'll get to that. Okay. So these here this is a setter, like this is an Irish setter. It's a family, it's a family of the Red Wing. You'll notice that it's an iron worker boot. Um, a lot of guys laugh and say, oh, I'd go through that in, oh, 20 minutes. Okay, well, I wore these boots last year, all year. Um, the grips are still on them. You can see my bad heel on and that's my good leg um that's my bad heel let's look at my bad heel on my bad leg okay um and you can see my bad heel on my bad leg 
So this is a setter. This is a steel-toed boot. Um, it's a good boot. Um, now that my leg is stronger, I'd love to try a new pair of boots because you can see what I do to boots. I bend them over to the one side just because of the steel in my, uh, in my leg. Okay, so keep in mind, these three pieces that I've shown you today are offices. This is your office. This is what you work in as a tradesman. Most important thing in the world is your medulla oblongata, which is in your head, and your feet, because without your feet, you can't walk, okay? Okay, so these are another pair of Irish setters. I call these my slippers. Um, they are not steel-toed. Uh, they're also not very clean. Um, normally, I clean them up pretty good, but I've been pretty busy. Um, you know, I mean, I just get around with them. They're my walking boots. Um, they're also my riding boots. I like riding my Harley with these boots. Um, if I'm having trouble with my leg or something like that, I go to these boots. Um, they're a great boot. <clears throat> Every one of these is a Red Wing. Now I got more Red Wings to show you, but they're all over the place and they're, some are in the garage and some are this. Okay, the boot I'm wearing is a King Toe. This is a King Toe boot. This is potentially, possibly the ugliest Red Wing boot I've ever bought in my life. I was actually against purchasing it because it's so ugly. But the thing about the King Toe is on the back heel, there is so much reinforcement on that back heel and the actual heel itself is really wide. Like it's really, really, really wide. And it really helps me from rolling that ankle. Like this is my bad leg. This one is my bad leg. And it really helps me from rolling my ankle. This is a king toe. That's about $289 um, from Red Wing. Those are about uh, $289 from Red Wing. Um, these are probably $250, I don't know. That's a $389 boot. Um, and then, of course, there's these ones that are probably in the $250 zones. That's the most common boot, but it's most common in red. And it's a 2412, not a 2416. You'll see it all the time. You'll notice it by that Red Wing tab that you can't see because I've worn the shit out of these boots too. <clears throat> um, anyway, I went into Red Wing yesterday. Um, I needed some laces. They give you free laces for life on any boot you own. Um, and uh, they give you free cleanings on boots. Like now with the COVID thing, I think there's some new rules and regulations. But uh, like that is a serious piece of... Uh, uh, boot and this little ankle whatever the hell that is is you know still solid so these boots are not made in america they've been farmed out to somewhere else but that is a lot of you know soul uh, and i don't mean black music uh, i mean like soul on the bottom of your boot um i'm happy with these boots they're ugly i'm not gonna lie i don't like that red stripe i don't like any of that but i'll tell you right now they've made it so i can walk and uh guys all these boots are eight inches tall tie them all the way to the top it don't matter how they feel tie them all the way to the top and break them in that way you're young you're gonna enter the trades um of course these are not work boots but they're slippers I am not a Red Wing salesman. I'm a Red Wing advocate. Um, and I love Red Wing. There's no two ways about it. So pass it on to your kids, especially if they're getting into the trades. I know I got a lot of older people that follow me. Um, Red Wing for life. That's the only way I, I, I roll. Um, I do like Wolverine. Uh, Vizarre over at... Uh, Edwards Factory Outlet sells Wolverine. He also sells the best rubber boots ever in the history of ever. So kudos to Vizar um, over at uh, Edwards Factory Outlet. Um, that's all I got to say. Thanks. Have a great day.